welcome back to SP Channel, guys. Tonight I have a very interesting topic for you. How is CERN affecting your reality? Has CERN caused the Mandela Effect? Have they shifted us into a parallel reality? And if so, why? Was it to avoid a catastrophic apocalypse? Or was there another, more sinister reason? We discuss all that and more this morning on SP Channel. To properly discuss this subject, we must first establish that CERN has the capability to alter the flow of time. Let's quickly go over how CERN accomplishes this feat. At CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, physicists and engineers are probing the fundamental structures of the universe. They use the world's largest and most complex scientific instruments to study the basic constituents of matter. CERN is also home to the world's largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. The LHC uses cutting-edge scientific breakthroughs like Project AWAKE, the world's most powerful plasma injector, and Project ATLAS, the world's most powerful electro-neodymium magnet, to accelerate matter well beyond the speed of light. Normally, matter breaks down into energy as it approaches the speed of light, but with the help of Project AWAKE and Project ATLAS, the magnetic fields produced within the accelerator cause the mass to become polarized and therefore incredibly stable. Project AWAKE then uses plasma, a fourth state of matter that is neither liquid, solid, or gas to accelerate the matter within the LHC to speeds well beyond the speed of light. All atomic matter has its own measure of gravity, as gravity is a property of mass. When these tiny particles within the accelerator are propelled at such incredible speeds, they actually cause a friction or a distortion on space-time itself. That's right, CERN's been piercing through space-time to get a glimpse at what's on the other side. So this brings to question what is on the other side of space-time. Physicists and mathematicians around the world speculate that space-time is like a four-dimensional fabric. This fabric known as space-time is what separates our positively charged universe from the rest of the multiverse. Has CERN pierced through space-time and caused our reality to interact with others? Speculations run wild. Is this the Mandela Effect? The Mandela Effect is a term coined in 2010 by Fiona Broom. It's called the Mandela Effect because many of us remember that Nelson Mandela died in prison in 1997 rather than in 2013. The Mandela Effect is what happens when someone has a clear memory of something that never happened in this reality. Many of us remember the exact same events with the exact same details. However, our memories are different from what's in history books, newspapers, and archives. We're not talking about false memories here. Many of us speculate that the Mandela Effect is a byproduct of parallel realities interacting with our own, and we've been sliding in between them without realizing it. In 2009, Sergio Bertolucci, director for research and scientific computing at CERN, grabbed international headlines when he stated, CERN may have the potential to open otherworldly doors. He stated, the LHC may possibly create or discover previously unimagined scientific phenomenon or unknown unknowns. For instance, an extra dimension. Out of this door might come something or we might send something through it. Make no mistake. CERN is proud of their scientific achievements and they make little effort to hide their scientific progress. What you're seeing now is a short clip from CERN's 60th anniversary celebration video from 2016. You can clearly see one of their own physicists touting three messages. The first message on the piece of paper in his hands said, we are happy at CERN. The two signs around his neck state Bond number one and Mandela. For those who are on the know, the first James Bond movie came out in September of 1956. The actor that played Bond was Barry Nelson. The other sign he's wearing clearly says Mandela. Nelson Mandela. The Mandela Effect. Is CERN mocking us? Many people think so. Over the decades, a great number of physicists at CERN have expressed fear with the actions the facility has undertaken. Some of those individuals have even went as far as to break international treaty laws to reveal to the public what's really going on behind closed doors at the CERN complex. The very first link in the description to this video will take you to a Reddit post of such a physicist that broke international laws to expose CERN's actions to the public. So, is CERN manipulating the fabric of space-time and causing distortions that affect our own universe by causing it to interact with an entirely different plane of existence? Is this causing information to bleed through and corrupt or completely change certain aspects of our reality? To answer this, we must first have a clear definition of the paranormal and what the paranormal means. Paranormal defined is anything that cannot be explained or expanded upon with the 
current limitations of scientific understanding. Therefore, science seeks the answers to those things that it does not have explanations for. So in many ways, scientific exploration is all about the paranormal. If you recall Sergio Bertolucci with his statements of CERN opening up otherworldly doors and that something may come through those doors, or we may even send something through those doors to the other side, there are a great many physicists that have worked at CERN over the decades. Some of these scientists have lost their mental stability. Some of them have even went mad. There are a great number of reports concerning unexplained phenomena within the complex itself when the LHC is active ranging from altered people and places and objects that were previously accounted for to unexplained entities, all reported by multiple witnesses and usually only while the Large Hadron Collider is online. When the Large Hadron Collider is activated, the accelerated mass within the LHC produces a gravitational pull that's 100,000 times stronger than that of the Earth's gravity. You can clearly see how strongly the rings of the LHC pull on the environment around them. This is a slight glimpse of the kind of power CERN has at its disposal, and a startling indication of the kind of force necessary to punch a hole through space-time. So, is CERN changing our reality by manipulating space-time, by colliding our reality into another, causing this Mandela effect? Many around the world believe this to be the case. Let me know what you think. I'm interested to know your thoughts on this. Has our reality been changed, altered by CERN? Causality states given an infinite amount of time that all possibilities must transpire. Let me hear your thoughts on this, guys. Until next time, this has been SP Channel from somewhere out there in time.